Sean would face down here, and I'm with one of the members of the band Authority Zero, one of my personal favorite bands. And you are? Thanks, I'm Jason. Hello, everybody. And what do you do in the band, Jason? I sing in the band. Excellent. Can't tell by my battered voice. <laughs> yeah, you, it's different talking to you because when you sing, it sounds all raspy. All right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> now, you guys have been a band since 1990. Um, you know, did you ever think that you guys be jamming to this very day still? Not a clue, man. We, we started in 94 pretty much because we had nothing else going on. We were just a bunch of kids that were in skateboarding and, and punk music, you know, and just kind of came with the territory. And uh, just really out of pure boredom and just for fun, we just started jamming out and, and started doing shows around the scene, you know, locally. And um, especially then because we didn't really fit into any certain scene, you know what I mean? We, really, we weren't really, you know, uh, I don't say accepted really big into the punk scene or any other music scene that was going around because we were still pretty different with what we were playing. And just kind of figuring out what we were doing, to be honest with you. And um, yeah, as time rolled by, we started realizing that we kind of were onto something a little bit more than just just messing around. So um, through uh, through all we've been through, honestly, I couldn't tell you this present day we'd still be jamming on it. Probably be a big surprise to me. <laughs> now your 2002 release, uh, Elva. Uh, did you ever think it would gain such popularity, especially with the uh, hit singles on it, "See in Red" and "Should Have Known Better"? Oh wait, I'm Authority Zero. Oh. We might have started this one over. <laughs> <laughs> Believe that, that'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs>